for the entrance please take a 102 Jerusalem, the city of the house of the Lord. Pilgrim people, we seek the Lord, the Lord of the house of Rome. In each age, who proclaims these praises, is good as the Lord of all. Eucharistic celebration, <coughs> we pray for Brother Duarto and Emilia who are celebrating their wedding anniversary. May God bless them and their family. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, every Eucharist, every Holy Mass helps us to recharge ourselves spiritually. And at the end of every Eucharistic celebration, we are given a mission, a message to leave for that day which helps us to grow spiritually. As we participate in this Holy Mass, let us prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. And together let us say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and, and what, what I have failed, failed to do, to do through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, of all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come. Grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, King Ahab sent to all the people of Israel and gathered the prophets together at Mount Carmel. And Elijah came near to all the people and said, How long will you go limping between two different opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people did not answer him a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I, even I only, am left a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. 
let two bulls be given to us, and let them choose one bull for themselves, and cut it in pieces, and lay it on the wood, and put no fire to it. And I will prepare the other bull, and lay it on the wood, and put no fire to it. And you call upon the name of your God, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. And the God who answers by fire, he is God. And all the people answered, it is well spoken. Then Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose for yourselves one bull and prepare it first, for you are many. And call upon the name of your God, but put no fire to it. And they took the bull that was given them, and they prepared it, and called upon the name of Baal from morning until noon, saying, O Baal, answer us. But there was no voice, and no one answered. And they limped round the altar that they had made. And at noon, Elijah mocked them, saying, Cry aloud, for he is God. Either he is musing, or he is relieving himself, or he is on a journey, or perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their custom with swords and lances until the blood gushed out upon them. And as midday passed, they raved on until the time of the offering of the oblation but there was no voice. No one answered, no one paid attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come near to me. And all the people came near to him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that had been thrown down. Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob to whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be your name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench about the altar, as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order, and cut the bull in pieces, and laid it on the wood. And he said, Fill four jars with water, and pour it on the burnt offering and on the wood. And he said, Do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, Do it a third time. And they did it a third time. And the water ran around the altar and filled the trench also with water. And at the time of the offering of the oblation, Elijah the prophet came near and said, O Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and that I am your servant, and that I have done all these things at your word. Answer me, O Lord, answer me, that this people may know that you, O Lord, are God, and that you have turned their hearts back. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Kindly repeat. Preserve, preserve me, O God, Lord, for in for you I, I take, take refuge. refuge. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Response, preserve, preserve me, O God, God for, for in you I, I take, take refuge. refuge. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. I will not take part in their offerings of blood, nor will I take their names upon my lips. 
response preserve me o god for in you i take refuge o lord it is you who are my portion and cup you yourself who secure my lot i keep the lord before me always with him at my right hand i shall not be moved response preserve me o god for in you i take refuge you will show me the path of life the fullness of joy in your presence at your right hand bliss forever response preserve, preserve me o god for in you i take refuge kindly rise for gospel acclamation <laughs> from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord at that time jesus said to his disciples do not think that i have come to abolish the law or the prophets i have not come to abolish them but to fulfill them For truly I say to you until heaven and earth pass away not an iota not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished therefore whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven but whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven the gospel of the lord praise to you lord, lord jesus christ my dear friends you have heard in the first reading from kings this lengthy reading and the reading start with this elijah says to them how long will you you know take this option god or baal god or baal yahweh or baal and then you see this test who is powerful this is binary god and baal and then you see in the gospel there is this dichotomy in the law you know the law will have two things one is letter of the law and one is spirit of the law the letter of the law is the words in the law and we we can call it the legality of the law but the spirit of the law is the intent the heart and mind why that law was stipulated the heart of the law we can say the spirituality of the law the humanity in the law and that is what jesus tries to tell them because the pharisees the scribes would focus on the legality the letter of the law what to do what not to do when to do how to do but they failed 
to see the mind behind that law and that can happen to all of us here we can be practicing catholics but are we living catholics l i v i n g are we living catholics we can come for mass we can do all the devotions perfectly but let us ask ourselves i include myself also i'm legal in my doing everything is right practicing perfectly or am i living the catholic faith i know the heart and mind behind what i'm doing and that brings us to the hinge of today's reading and that is the beautiful psalm psalm 16 i want you to go home or put on your mobile psalm 16 sometime it can be psalm 15 on your mobile because of the numbering this is a beautiful psalm and the refrain we have repeated preserve me o god for in you i take my refuge this is a psalm written by david 100 and uh, sorry 16 psalm 16 and he writes because he says preserve my life o lord because in you i take refuge preserve me when i say when he can say when he sees impending doom or is already in danger and in that danger the voice the tone the tenor of this psalm is not in fear is not in disappointment is not in despair hopelessness no the tenor of the psalm is confidence is faith preserve me o lord i am finding difficult to survive i am finding difficult to fight my enemies i am finding difficult to live life this should be our prayer my friends preserve me o lord from every external thing preserve me o lord from jealousy preserve me o lord from this pride preserve me from this high uh, you know considering myself high among others preserve me o lord from this from this things that are not important for my faith you ask yourself from which area of your life you want to preserve preserve from relationship which are, which are not helping me to grow in faith preserve me from all these relationships preserve me from all these teachings which which makes my life difficult to live in faith preserve me from all mal practices that i may be doing in my life at my workplace anyway ask yourself which area of your life you want preservation you want god safety and like david there is no binary my friends david could have chosen anything other than yahweh in this times of peril in times of trouble but he takes yahweh and yahweh only that is what you see in the first reading and that you see in the gospel this is a hinge where david says yahweh and yahweh can preserve let our prayer today and as we go home psalm 16 preserve me o lord from whichever area i require preservation only in you not in other things i can take refuge amen for the presentation of the gifts please take b27 
pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church look kindly upon our service O Lord we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip, Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy 
on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph her blessed spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done. done ordered as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Like David in Psalm 16, let our prayer today be, Preserve me, O Lord, for I take refuge in you. Go forth, the masses ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. T35, T35.